This is a demonstration of the Land Carbon Viewer, which is a collaborative effort between the U.S. Geological Survey and UC Berkeley's Geospatial Innovation Facility. The Land Carbon Project is a project that assesses the garbage storage and fluxes in the nation's ecosystems. And the Land Carbon Viewer are data and tools to explore and access this information. Let's go first to the Explore page. This page first brings up a map of ecoregions of the conterminous United States. These ecoregions are areas with similar patterns of land cover, ecology, and land use, and topography. And if, as you put your cursor over each of the regions, you get the name of the ecoregion. If we look first at the Ozark Wachita Appalachian Forests ecoregion, click on it, we get a map of the spatial extent of this ecoregion and a description of it as well. Over on the right, we get a pie chart that shows the distribution of ecosystem types within the ecoregion. It's composed of 73% forest, 23% agriculture, and smaller percentages of other ecosystem types. Over on the right, we have the projected ecosystem change by the year 2050 under different IPCC scenarios, A1, B, A2, and B1. In the chart below, we get information about the amount of carbon storage that is currently uh, within this ecoregion. And we can look at the total carbon storage here in blue or the carbon storage by ecosystem type, forest, agriculture, etc. We can also get the projected carbon storage as well under the A1B scenario and under the B1 scenario, for example. You can see an increase in carbon storage under the B1 scenario, which is more sustainable. Uh, we can also get the carbon net flux um, between 2005 and 2050 for different ecosystem types under different scenarios. Again, we see the reduction of ecosystem flux under the more developed IPCC scenario. We also can show the underlying data behind these charts, which shows the ecosystem, the baseline uh, area, projected area of land cover, and the change percentage. We also have the show data feature under the carbon data as well. In addition to being able to explore the uh, national assessment data, we can also distribute the data uh, from this website. We have available data sets that went into producing the national assessment as well as data that were produced by the assessment. This includes biomass carbon stock, burned area and severity, forest stand age, land use and land cover, and many other types. If we click on one of these data sets, land use and land cover in this example, we see a map display, and then we can download these data in a number of different ways, either by, use, by eco region, we can upload a, our own file such as state boundaries, or we can draw a rectangle over our area of interest. We can then specify the data range that we want to download. For example, we may want land cover for every year from 2010 to 2050 under the B1 scenario. And just click download and the data will come to you. We also have information here uh, summarizing the national assessment, a brief description of the methods, and more information about the study how to get the assessment reports, understanding ecosystems, and understanding uncertainty. And that is the Land Carbon Viewer.